good morning children hope you all are doing good so last class i have started new lesson that is lesson number 2 our universe so this class i am going to continue the lesson okay so last class i have given introduction about our solar system and what is meant by heavenly bodies and our planets so the eight planets and how it is present what is the nature of those planets everything i have explained so this class we are going to see about moon the earth national satellite everyone take out page number 159 moon earth national satellite satellite is a heavenly body that revolves around the planet for example moon revolves around the earth so the moon of the satellite of the earth this moon it will revolve around the earth okay so the moon Satellite which was launched by then USSR. 
the radio, everything. Okay? Even the mobile, whatever we are using, you know, that mobile and all, with the help of the satellite only, we will be getting a communication process. With the help of satellite, we will be getting a network, then we can able to communicate. Next, uses of satellite. Satellite gives us many information like weather and communication. Weather. Satellite helps us by forecasting weather like floods, forest fires and glaciers. For example, many places we can't able to observe. Because the satellite will be revolving around, it will be always, it will be doing round around the orbit of the earth. So it can be able to see what is the weather condition and where the floods are it is more and where the forest fires is taking catch and where more glaciers is forming. So like this information, weather condition through the help of satellite we can come to know. Okay. And next communication. Satellite helps in watching television and listening to radio. This also helps to take over cell phones with people living far away from us. See, I am staying in Bangalore. Maybe my radio will be staying in other country. Okay. With the help of cellular phone, I can able to contact them. With the help of satellite, I can able to contact them. So this is useful for communication purpose. And also it will uh, it is use of to know the weather condition from different places. Okay. So this is the usefulness of artificial satellite. And next one we are going to study about this satellite, asteroids, gametes, stars, everything it will come under category of heavenly bodies. Okay. Natural satellite, artificial satellite, asteroids, gametes. So this everything it will come under category of heavenly bodies. And next one we are going to see asteroids. What does it mean by asteroids? It is a very large rock which is present out of space. Okay. The large amount of rocks which is present in outer space. Okay. It is get pulled by gravitational force of planet. For example, this is the planet. The planet will be having the gravitational force. Okay, or magnetic force. Through that, the planet will be having the gravitational force. Through that, here the asteroids it will be present. It is a large kind of rocks. Okay. Next. As an asteroid is a large rock in outer space that can be thrown off what was a left over after the sun and the planet were formed. See what we are considering as a planet. Sun is a, one of the star it has hard burning gases. Whatever the pieces it is came out of the star. Okay out of the sun that it is converted as a planet everything is telling no. So after that whatever it is left out part that we are considering as an asteroid because it is made up of rock. Most of the asteroids in our solar system, most of the asteroids, whatever it is present, most of that it is there in the solar system. It is also it is a part of sun. This can be found in orbiting the sun between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. This Mars and Jupiter, in the orbiting, we can able to see many a number of asteroids. Okay, we can able to see many number of asteroids around those planets. So this it is called as asteroid belt. This asteroids mostly found in Mars and Jupiter planet. So it will be around to those planets. It is called as an asteroid belt. Asteroid is made up of very large rock. Next, asteroids can be few fit to several million wide. It is very big. It is like a wide. It is like a several million, several miles, several hundred miles. The belt probably contains at least four thousand asteroids. Okay, so that are more than six point five miles across. Okay, see each asteroid belt will be having a four thousand asteroids. Okay, then more than 0.5 miles across. So it is like a 0.5 miles across. There are 4,000 asteroids it is present in each asteroid's belt. Okay. That
that size if we take it is like a few feet to several hundred millions wide okay it is several hundred millions wide next if an asteroid is captured by the gravitation pull of the planet the asteroid can be pulled out the belt going orbit of the moon around the planet it is pulled on a disc quasar see this eta or some big asteroids see this asteroid it is getting pulled towards the gravitation force by the planet even the planet will be having a certain gravitational pull because of that the asteroids it will be present next to the planets so there are three big asteroids those names it is a quasar cirrus ida so these are the three biggest asteroids in our space in our solar system okay and next one we are going to see about gamex what is mean by gamex so it is also one of the heavenly bodies which appear bright ball of light in the sky with long glowing tail see in the night time we can able to see all the stars it will be twinkling some star it won't twinkle okay see along with that a ball of light with long tail okay the ball of light with the long tail it will be just it will be pass away in the sky so those it is called as a comets okay comets made the of dirty ice dust and gas it is made up of dirty ice gas and dust when comets come push to dust it will release by the melting ice so whenever this comets it will come near to the sun it will start melting okay even the dust particle also it will fall off next the melting ice away from the comet so it is made up of dirty ice and dust gas so when it will come near to the sun this ice it will get melt off okay every time the comets come close to the sun the parts it melt over time it will completely disappear most of the time it is completely disappear we can't able to see next comets does not give light does not have any own light so it will be giving a reflection of sunlight comets like a moon it won't have any own light so it is giving a light because of reflection of sunlight few comets come close enough to the earth for us to see with our eyes we can able to see by our eyes few comets it will come near to the earth so that comets we can able to see by our eyes heli comet for example can be seen from the earth every 76 years every 76 years we can able to see the comet that name it is called as a heli comet okay next we are going to start new topic so that is start now we have seen all the heavenly bodies that is natural satellite artificial satellite asteroids and gas okay now we we'll move on for a star what is mean by star even sun also it is a star right the sun is a glowing ball of hot gas sun is glowing ball of hot gas it has heat and light on its home star are huge they are bigger than sun moon and earth they look like very small and tiny because they are very far from us sun also a star it is a near star of the earth stars can live for billion of years star is one of a glowing ball of hot gas it has own heat and light and it can live billions of years it is very big and it is very huge it is very bigger than sun and it is very bigger than moon and it is very bigger than earth why it is looking very small it is it is very far away from earth so that is the reason whenever we see in a uh, clear sky in the stars it look like a very small okay but it is very bigger than earth okay and next one we are going to see constellation what does mean by constellation 
answer. Okay. Thank you children. Have a nice day.